Hello YouTube, this is Grosama, and uh, here I'm going to be doing the unboxing of the Gundam H1 Razor. I do believe this is the first one on YouTube, so I'm proud of myself. Alright, uh, so let's just move him. He's just there for, you know, appearance-wise. Alright, so here's the box. The box looks freaking awesome. This is just like a version kit, just to let some of y'all know. This isn't a, an actual, like, full model. It's just the uh, conversion parts. So... Yeah, he's one razor, it's all cool, Bandai, Hobby Japan, all that cool stuff. So yeah. That's really about it. I honestly do not remember how much I paid for it. Oh. Uh fourteen fourteen ninety. So one thousand four hundred and ninety yen. So that's not a good price. And I actually I've been looking everywhere since um what should we call it? Since August fifteenth, I've been looking everywhere for this guy, but he's been sold out everywhere. And today I was like, oh, I'll just go to Hiroshima, pick up a couple of things. And this is the last copy that they had in one of the stores in uh, what was it called? Hobby Hobby Japan, something like that. But yeah, uh, this guy looks freaking sick. Um, this is kind of like how I'm gonna do mine right here. I'm gonna do these little the blades all like tealish, but mine's gonna be like. Maybe a little bit darker blue, but not too dark. It's not going to match the, uh, the actual parts right here. So, yeah, I'm pretty pretty excited. And I actually forgot to... You have to get the age one normal. I forgot to buy him. But uh, it's okay. I'll go get him probably Thursday or so. But uh, let's go ahead and crack him open real quick. Uh, it's got tape. I'm going to use these pliers. There we go. So, that's just it. All right, put those aside. And see. try and open this up. Come on, guy. Come on. Come on. I'm using pliers to open up a plastic bag. That's awesome. All right, so there it is. It's open. All right, now let's go ahead and look at this. This is freaking awesome. So you're not really going to get too many parts that are like really extra but there are really detailed if you look at them pretty detailed I like that a lot of it looks like it's just mostly arm legs these are leg parts right here that's gonna be pretty easy to uh, paint pretty much the only coating like the only colors that you can be really painting these uh, things um, is the blue the white and the gray and the silver for the actual blades if you decide to do silver but pretty much a lot of these you can just paint the color how it is I think uh, I know the shoulder parts like what is it? I think it's this these two that can actually just stay white I, I believe but uh, we'll see whenever uh, what happens whenever I build it but you get those two runners let's take a look at the uh, book real quick just a quick look uh, oh before I do anything right here this is the biggest announcement 2012 November 22nd to November 25th and Akiba Square is guess what Where's that? there we go the Gunpla Builders World Cup and if y'all remember from last year I went to it and I'm going to it again this year uh, this is actually gonna be like three weeks after the date of last year so it's gonna be whatever but that's gonna kinda of roll into my vacation my 30 day vacation where I'm just gonna be relaxing and chilling with Sashiko but I just want to get that out there that I will be going to it come November and that's gonna be freaking awesome possum alright so just kinda of open up the book just kinda of take a look at it alright yeah all right, so here's some illustrations. I really do like the illustrations. Come on, let's get down right there. Yeah, look at beautiful. Look at beautiful girl. All right, and here's the actual instructions, all in color, which is freaking awesome. All right, looks pretty simple. Pretty, pretty simple. I need to give me another age one razor, though. I mean, another uh, age one normal. So I can get this guy all finished up. He's going to be freaking easy. This guy's going to be so easy to just paint and build. Honestly, the only thing that's going to give me a little bit of trouble is going to be those blades. But uh, really, other than that, it, it's going to be an easy kit. That It's just one page like that. It's so simple. And uh, just here's some regular stuff. Here's some uh, illustration from the, um, the cutscenes in the PSP game. Looking all cool. So, in the cutscenes, he actually has green. But on the box, it shows teal. But it, I'm going to paint mine the blue. 
I think it's just your choices. You see some of it with the green, some with the silver and all that stuff. And here's just some helpful instructions on what to do. All right, and there's just some other random stuff in here. So you see some age effects. So that's really about it. And uh, for all my Transformers Prime people, I know this is I know this is all Gundam and related right now. But uh, for all of my Transformers Prime people. The Unicron is going to be coming out this month, so I might get that. There's a, a, a couple other things, like the, uh, the Robotech, Dark of the, I think it's Dark of the Moon, uh, Optimus, or one of those one of those movies, but with the, uh, the Jetpack, it's going to be pretty cool. I think it's coming out next month. So, that's all. I just wanted to kind of do a quick unboxing. It's not really much to it, but it does look pretty good, and I'm pretty excited to build it. So... I'll see y'all later. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll be doing the review probably next week. So, I'll see ya.